Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and with me today is one of our resident food experts, Chef Kyoko Nagura. Kyoko, welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. Thank you for having me today, Tim. I, I, I was just delighted when you agreed to come on the show because, you know, our viewers, they know Asian foods, but they don't necessarily know uh, Japanese food different from Chinese food, different from Filipino, whatever. And so it's, it's a delight to have you and to have you teach us a little bit about Japanese food. Of course, thank you. Well, okay, so you're Japanese. So Kyoko, what part of Japan are you from? I'm from Yokohama, Japan. So Yokohama, Japan, is that north, south? It's a central part of a Cent Japan. Central Japan, near Tokyo perhaps? Yes. Okay. Kyoko, tell us what we're cooking today. Today we are cooking tofu steak with a uh, mm. sauteed mushroom and topped with the daikon radish. Ooh, okay, that sounds really exotic. Mm -hmm. Now, so with this recipe, we're introducing some very, very different ingredients to our viewers. And so yes. I want to point some of those out. But we know <laughs> what tofu is, but daikon radish, you know, this yes. is one that that you know, when you when you told me about this recipe, I had to go look this up. I didn't know what a daikon radish okay. was, uh, and then and then also, and we're going to talk about this in a minute. But yes. but some of these other ingredients like sake, you know, mm -hmm. sake is not one of those uh, uh, wines that Americans know very well. Right. And so, uh, oh, okay. Well, let's let's get started. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with the popain, the uh, topping for with the daikon radish. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, this one, there's uh, so many different ways to uh, prepare it, but okay. we're going to grate it and eat it, eat it fresh. Okay. And today, you could skin them. However, uh, right under the skin, it's always good nutrition. Right, so, <coughs> right under the skin. You right, okay. right under the skin. So okay. today, I washed them really, really good so okay. we don't have to... Uh, so you're not going to peel it then? I'm not going to peel it today. Okay. Okay. So we have this. You want to taste a little bit? I would. I, would li okay. I was hoping you'd ask. It tastes like a radish. Right. It's very similar to, right. the, to the radish that we know. It's not too strong, mm -mm, it's but it has a li little spiciness. A little pick, but not yes. much. In fact, maybe not as hot as our red yes. radishes. Yes. I like that. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grate this. Okay. okay. And. I have a... Uh, you don't mind if I keep munching on this, do no, you? No, no problem. Okay. Okay. And, uh, of course, uh, it take a while, but uh, you want a pretty good portion. Okay. Okay, okay so now I have a gravy very finely. Oh, beautiful. I have in the um, net here, so yes. it have excess water. I don't know if you can see yeah. all that. It dri drip down. So I'm going to leave just like this in the refrigerator. We're going to use this for topping for later. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, so we've got our daikon radish uh, grated. Okay, so what's our next step? Next step, I'm going to show you how to prepare the tofu. Tofu. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad you're going to show us that because, you know, when you get this block of tofu, you know, now I'm speaking as a non-Asian here who's mm -hmm. not familiar with tofu. Okay. Uh, it's, it kind of comes in a little bit of what I would call a whey. It's like, it's almost like a cheese with whey. It's got a real thin water on it. Okay. So you're going to show us how to remove that. Yes. Um, in this recipe, now, mm -hmm. if you use in this, uh, tofu in a soup or any other reason, yeah. you don't have to do this process. Okay. However, this is tofu steak, so you want to... Um, take off any excess water, okay, so... You want it to be firm, yes. in other words. Okay, and I'm uh, going to move this out of the way just for okay. a minute, just so we can see what you're All doing. Right. Okay. So, I have, I'm going to open one package here. Okay. Okay. All right, and what kind and of tofu? So we you today using... Uh, firm? Firm tofu, okay. okay. We have uh, so many different textures to the tofu. You can let me, use... Let me hold those. Okay. okay. So you've got, you've got extra firm, light firm, and firm. If you are doing stir fry or any mm -hmm. of the na nature, you might want to use the extra firm tofu. Extra firm, okay. Yes, because uh, it'll hold up yes. to the to you stirring it. And you know, you can use any type. Uh, depends on uh, you know your choice. Texture is a little bit more. The farm is a little bit coarser. So if you okay. like the you know how you like your texture of the tofu, you can yeah. you know pick and choose. You can try out which one you like the best. And you know there. Are actually are a lot of health benefits associated with tofu and so it's worth 
uh, looking up some recipes to see how we can work this in. Okay, yes. so so you're using firm today, not the extra yes. firm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open this mm -hmm. box. Okay. And tofu, regardless if it's a farm or not, mm -hmm. it is uh, really fragile. Yes. So please careful. It's gonna. Uh, it's kind of like a. In a sense, it's like a jello like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is. It is yes. almost. It, in fact, it, it is a congealed. Food. Yes. Okay. And I noticed that you're very carefully cutting the corners off of this box. Yes. Um, first, you know, cut the. You know, it comes in a different package, but yeah. on this case, uh, I cut the both in, yeah. and I'm gonna, okay, take this apart. And in fact, there are even directions on the, on this package to. You open can cut it this with way. the scissor if you like. Yeah. yeah. And if this one is cut, hard to come out, so I cut the one other end oh, to see. get the air out. Yeah. So, so it'll so it'll come yes. out easily. So otherwise, it'll hang in there. Yes. So I have a uh, kitchen towel, yeah. paper towel. Yep. Yeah. All right, so this one a little bit. You can give. Uh, you can change out later if it, it's mm -hmm. uh, saturated too too quickly. So, okay. so this towel is to absorb absorb the liquid. The liquid. Okay. So okay. gently pull out the tofu. Yeah. It hold it in the hand. Beautiful. Okay, and place it on a paper towel. Okay. So what I would normally do now, if the tofu is you. a larger tofu, I would normally uh, put a chopping board or something put on top. Okay, okay. Now, yeah, yeah. That this is a relatively small tofu, so what I did today is take a pan or Tupperware, whatever you have in your yeah. house container, yeah. put a little water, give away, yeah. and put it on top of it to make sure cover the surface of a tofu. So it give away and weigh down, the water will drain down. And and so how long does it take for this to happen? 15 to uh, 15 minutes or so. So, mm -hmm. so this is something you need to do and then move on to something else and right. come back to it. And you can set I that like aside in refrigerator, you know. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And, and that's actually a good point to mm -hmm. say to put it in the refrigerator because tofu is very high in protein. It's one of the, it's a, it's a protein food. It goes in the meat group. Uh, and any protein food, we have to be concerned about keeping it at the right temperature. Okay, so this okay. is one that you had done yes. before. Yes, I previously uh, prepped it. Okay, so you drained it in yes. other words. Okay. All right, okay. so gently. Mm -hmm. Now, if it does, sometimes, you know, taking out out of box or either um, doing this might have a little crack or something, and mm -hmm. just don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no big deal, but I have to be gently yeah. taking those out. Yeah. Make sure. I think I rubbed too much, but <laughs> yeah. I'll find my way. Okay. It. So I have a little crack, but it's okay. Okay. And um, gently. And this is the firm one that you use. Yes. See, I would have expected you to use the extra firm on this. Mm, Tell me why you didn't the, do that. Personally, I like the texture of a firm. Of the firm. Yes. Okay. And extra firm is a, also great. However, um, it have a little more coarser taste to it. Okay. So texture. So too. this was a personal preference on your part. Yes. Okay. Now, how this you kind of hold in the hand just like this, mm -hmm. and you will cut it. Uh, right into, I have a knife here, mm -hmm. okay, cut right in oh, the middle. Oh, you're going to do it that way? Yes. Okay, okay. And it will kind of boil all the extra, you know, picking up and so you will kind of slowly. And you're actually it, just following that seam. There's a yes. seam that the box marks on that. Please be careful, don't cut your hand, Yeah. but uh, gently, it's just mm -hmm. a little push. Mm -hmm. So now we have a two, yep. okay. Yep. so. There we go. Okay, so I have a. So you created a steak right there. Right. Is what you just did. So I have a two piece. Okay. okay it's gonna be a steak part. Okay. okay. All right. And I have here. I have a flour. Okay. Okay. This is a regular flour here. And uh, when I do so, even this is drained already. Mm -hmm. We wanna kind of wipe this extra water. Okay. okay. And. You're gonna do both sides. Both huh? sides. Okay. Make sure gently. Okay. okay. And what I'm gonna do, okay, dust them, okay. It's it's similar to you know what we would do in flouring anything. Yes. It's just you're just handling it very yes. carefully, okay. So you do so and make sure nothing is extra. Okay. Too many. So too much. just a just a, a light dusting is yes. what you're doing, okay. Yes. Let's brown this tofu. Okay. Okay. All right, I have an olive oil. Okay. okay. 
So you're using olive oil with this. Now, traditional Japanese cooking, what oil would you use? You can use uh, sesame oil would be great. It yeah. gives additional flavor. All right. And could I find sesame oil at uh, Brookshire's, yes. for example? Okay. Yes, you okay. can. All okay. Right. All right. Now, I'm going to gently pick this up. Okay. okay. And extra. That's the extra oil. And, and see, that's that a little in. different than, you know, when we bread things, especially here in the South, we have a very heavy breading on it. I notice you're, you don't really, you want just a light dusting. Yes, huh? for, especially for this dish. So you're just looking for something to create a light browning with. Yes. Okay. Now, while we browning this, I'm going to cut the mushroom. Okay. All right. Okay. Beautiful mushroom. I what? have a uh, white mushroom and also baby portobello mushroom today. Okay. You can use any mushroom that you like and okay. you know your so we just do slices. Okay. Simple slices yep. today. Yep. Okay. And you can uh Japanese people love to eat mushrooms in different dishes and soup. You know, until I started working with chefs, I, I never was much on mushrooms. But, but mushrooms are one of those foods, I guess, like anything else. The more you cook with them, the more you eat them, the more you, your palate adapts. Right. So, you know. Adds such a rich, uh, uh, a richness to flavors. Yes. And sauces, for example. Yes. And um, while it's browning, I'm going to check and see. Uh, you, you're going to have to, of course, you're going to have to really gently check mm -hmm. how it's doing. I think it's take a little bit more. And meantime, would you help me make a sauce for this dish? Yes. Okay. While, while you're doing that, I just wanted to say a couple of things about yes. uh, soy foods. You know, uh, a lot of studies have given us uh, a lot of uh, proof that soy foods have definite health benefits. For example, soy foods lower our bad cholesterol without lowering the good one. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. times when we lower just fat intake, mm -hmm. uh, we lower both of them. Well, that yes. doesn't help the ratio of, of good to bad. But soy foods lower the bad one yes. and mm -hmm. don't affect the good one, yes. cholesterol. And then also, uh, soy foods uh, reduce our risk of certain types of cancer like prostate or breast cancer. There, there's been some study uh, oh, a few years back about, well, do soy foods raise our risk of breast cancer? But actually, there have been studies that have come back and said, no, that's not true. In fact, women, breast cancer survivors who eat tofu reduce their risk of recurrence by 25%. So there's some definite reasons to find ways to work soy foods yes. into our Yes. Right. Okay, so let's make that sauce okay. you were talking about. So. All right, this is going to be uh, our sauce. Okay. Okay. First, uh, you want to yep. hold this? Okay, I get to hold the, the whip. Yes. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, I have a, here a fresh squeezed orange juice today. Okay. Uh, one pop of a cup. Okay. okay, all right. And I also... You want me to stir that? Yes, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I, let me have that. Okay. I'll take this one. Okay. All right, and I have a low sodium soy sauce for also one four quarter of a cup. cup. Okay. okay, and you know the point about low sodium soy sauce is is that even though the the label says low sodium, it's still a high sodium yes, food. Yes, that's correct. So so, so we you still mm -hmm. you, you measure that one. This is you know soy sauce. Sometimes you know American people might not used to using them, so sometimes use a mistake and you know use too much too much of it yeah, yeah. but it's just the flavor enhance the flavor just yeah. like you would sprinkle salt we yeah. use just a little bit to you know add so, uh, saltness to the yes, food yes, yes. Mm -hmm. okay and then I have a fresh squeeze of lemon juice okay, and so I just need about uh, two teaspoons just, of salt. just a little there okay yes and uh, so that's two citruses and a salty okay, okay. and what I have uh, chopped the garlic Okay, okay. Chopped garlic. I love garlic. So, but if you mm -hmm. don't like garlic, you can make a small amount, or you okay. know, if you love. This looks like it needs to yes. be whipped a little bit. You can start okay. whipping. Yep. Okay. And also, I have a uh, uh, rice wine. Okay. okay. So that's the rice, sake. Uh, I'm sorry, rice wine vinegar. Okay. Rice this wine is a, vinegar. Rice this wine is vinegar. vinegar. Okay. okay. So that's a that's All an right. acid. And I have sake here. Okay. So there's the okay, sake. Okay. This is a rice wine uh, here. Okay. So sake is a rice wine. Now, now, where would I find that here? 
I found it actually in a Brooks brother. So Brooks has sake. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Most of the thing, everything I've, I have in the recipe here today is able to uh, find locally, and oh, okay. I got it this morning at Brooks brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so that was a question I wanted to ask, and I'm yes. glad you brought it up. So, in the traditional, mm -hmm. you want this one? Yes. In the mm -hmm. traditional uh, recipe that you're making here, you might not use these same ingredients. Is that right? Right. Uh, for example, oranges, uh -huh. uh, we use called, things called yuzu. yuzu. It's a citrus fruit, okay. but we don't find it here. So I kind of uh, made an alternative, yeah. made an arrangement. You so, adapted. You yes. adapted the recipe for to use local ingredients. Yes, so okay. people can enjoy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing. Okay. okay. So that means that you all can make this dish, and it's authentic, but yes. it's using similar ingredients. Yes, I'm, I made a um, different choice, but similar, so mm -hmm. people can enjoy here okay. and locally. Okay? okay. All right. So I have a red crushed pepper here, okay. and if you don't like spicy, you can omit it, or you can add more however you like, okay? So you've got really, and you have an, a, a huge assortment of flavors in yes. this sauce. Okay. And then lastly, okay, okay, I have a sugar. Okay, so a little okay. bit of sweet. This is, you know, this is a measure of one and a half teaspoon. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That's kind of a chef's measure right there. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So this is gonna be. Uh, now, are we going to cook this sauce? Yes, I'm gonna cook this sauce uh, after. Like when when you put it in with the tofu. Uh, we gonna uh, first. I'm gonna uh, Ooh, now it's beautiful. a lightly brown. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah, color. Yeah. First we're gonna cook tof cook tofu and uh, I'm gonna cook mushroom right after that. Okay. And then we'll put it together, combine mm -hmm. together, and with the sauce. So tofu will tofu and uh, mushroom will absorb the uh, flavor. Absorb the flavor from yes. the sauce. And uh, while it's browning, I'm gonna. Take this tof to the side. Okay, okay, so you're gonna set him aside. Okay, okay. gently. Yes. Always. <laughs> okay. Now, I, Kyoko, I have to admit. Yes. Whenever we were preparing this show and you you submitted this recipe and and I had to try it at home, you know, because I I never want to go into these not knowing anything about right. what we're doing, you know, and and tofu's not something that I'm real familiar with, and so when I prepared this. Mine didn't come out like that. It's nowhere near as pretty, but I think it's because <laughs> what <happened? it's>, well, <laughs> well, when I saw lightly dusted with flour, I'm thinking chicken fried steak. You know, okay. I'm thinking a heavier batter, yes. and so that's what I was trying to make. And of course, it yes. didn't work. It's just to you know keep the surface dry, yes. and it'll give you a nice golden color yeah. when it yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So now I add a little bit more mm -hmm. oil in yep. the same pan. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna saute mushrooms. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. We're gonna saute mushroom. Okay, yeah. mushroom is ready now. Yeah, they smell so, wonderful. Okay, now I'm gonna tofu back into the uh, pan yeah. now. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, good. Now, you got one I'm going to mushroom right there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to add the sauce. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is smelling wonderful. This is really smelling good. Okay. And so, one of the things from a cooking perspective is mm -hmm. about, about uh, tofu is that it absorbs flavors, just like mushrooms yes. do. Yes. And so it's a great food for this kind of dish where it's going to absorb all those wonderful right. balanced yes. flavors you did. Okay. And a daikon radish that we're going to top with yeah. is a uh, little spicy, nice flavor, but it's bland, you know. Yeah. But, so, you know, this sauce also add to so, them. So the daikon radish is going to absorb this sauce too. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Okay. All right. It looks like it's a to this tofu is ready. Okay. 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 So what's our next step? Okay, I'm gonna plate this and I'm gonna garnish it. May I have that plate over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You want me to hold it? No. Right no. Here. Right here. Okay. okay. So I am going to. Okay. I can go ahead and turn this off. Okay. Yep. All right. Here, let me come this way okay. with it. It's a little and, easier. All right. And also. This is good mushrooms. 
Okay. Now you're going to, okay, so you're topping these with all these wonderful yes. mushrooms in this sauce. Okay. And then, okay, you want no. this one right here? No, no. I'm going to add okay. other stuff, so, okay. okay. And I have a daikon radish that I grated earlier. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I wanted to ask, the word daikon, is that, does that have a translation in Japanese? Yes, uh, it's a big root. Okay, so daikon means big root, which yes. is what it is. Okay, <laughs> yes. well, that's a good, it's a good name for yes. it. Yes. Okay. All right, so, and then you're going to put uh, some of this okay. on the... Okay, right on top, okay? Okay. And best thing is, I'm going to use this little yep. sauce. Yep. Okay, right over it. Oh. Okay. Oh, so it absorbs. Yes. So the daikon absorbs the sauce and yes. actually carries the flavor yes. mm -hmm. in the dish. Oh, okay. that's beautiful. Let's make a, a simple stir fry to okay. accompaniment the uh, tofu steak here. Oh, okay. okay, okay, all right. All right, we have uh, snow peas here. Yes. We're in the season right now, and it looks really great yeah. at the store, yeah. so I had to grab some of those. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a very simple stir fry. Okay. okay. Just a little just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, okay. you really just used a very little there. Yes, and uh, you know, non-stick pan will always help reduce yeah. the uh, intake of oil. Yeah. So, you know, if you really, you know, want to careful, you, you can use a non-stick pan, and, okay? Yeah, and no oil. No oil, Okay. yes. Okay, all right. All right, and I, I like to uh, bring out the fr uh, flavor of a garlic, so it goes first. It, yeah, yeah. Very beginning. So, and it, so, it and will, so the longer you cook garlic, right. the stronger it is. Right. So that's why you put that in first. Okay, okay. and then I'll go with the onion. Well, I smell that garlic, it really okay. smells good. You've got those onions cut very uh, little. Yes. And, and uh, you know, you're using all fresh ingredients here. Yes. Everything fresh. And I have a carrots here, okay? It's all different color, give, give us beautiful looks and also great nutrition. Okay? Yes, yes. And, and that's actually part of your tradition, is it yes. not? Yes, it is. In other words, in other words, uh, one of the things that you notice in in Asian food is you see a lot of these stir fries of all fresh stuff. You never yes. see frozen broccoli in there. Right. You know, it's it's uh, it's fresh. Our culture, we are not used to uh, eating canned vegetables mm -hmm. or frozen vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We always go to you know store and market you know daily get yes. an amount that lasts for day or two yeah. and always uh, ask, uh, trying to get a freshest item as possible. And, and you know, that's exactly one of the things that we teach over and over on Memorial Cooking Innovations. Yes. We always teach that the flavor is in the freshness, mm -hmm. but of course it's right. also more nutritious the, the fresher yes. the food is. And now I'm going to add a snow pea, okay? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful And snow, snow pea doesn't take that long and uh, you, you don't want to overcook them. Yeah. You really want to uh, crunch left. Yes. So, just to, uh, you know, give I would a little. Have, I would have never thought of using chopsticks to do as a stir fry like this, but it, they actually work pretty good on that yes. nonstick pan, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we cook with a chopstick, and, you know, I, a lot. Yeah, I did. I, I would have never thought of doing that. It's beautiful, beautiful Okay, color. so we're going to touch up with... I was just wondering if there was going to be a little bit of pepper. A yes. little bit of pepper. Yeah. Okay. And just a, just a pinch, of, pinch salt. of salt. Pinch of salt. Okay. Just to bring some flavor yes. out. Okay. And of course, we already got a sauce and a tofu, so yeah. it will. So we don't need too yes, much. Yes, we don't need any more flavor. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, what it is important to enjoy the natural flavor of an ingredient. Yes. And that brings out the flavor. And, you know, when you use just too many sauces and, you know, yes. over salt it, and you forget about main fresh ingredient. You, you cover up the yes. flavor, the, the natural right. flavor of those sweet snow peas. Exactly. So okay. That's a very good lesson in learning to develop our palate. Yes. You know, one of the things that I'm, I'm always teaching people, in, usually in weight loss, is train your palate so that you enjoy uh, uh, low-fat milk, for yes. example. Train your palate away from the in-your-face concentrated sweets that we, we eat so many of. Exactly. Or drink so many of in sodas, for example. And, you know, uh, Japanese culture is, a, we have a full, full season, you know, spring and 
summer, fall, and a winter. Okay. So we so for food seasons. Is that yes. what you were saying? Okay. I just want to make sure I understood what you said. Okay. Yes. So you know we enjoy the food this, each season yes, bring us eating seasonally. Yes, and uh, you know. In season, it's the best flavor that you can get. Yes, yes. So, you know, that that is the most important thing to us. You know, enjoy each season, different type of food, and uh, we get to enjoy and as the year go to, you know, goes yeah, through. Yeah, and it's something different each season. And right. do you know that that's actually a very popular thing in the States? That kind of thing is, is coming back to the yes. States. That was part of our original tradition. But as foods became more and more available and more processed, mm -hmm. we've lost some of that. Okay. This is beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to add some. Okay. Rice that I've already yeah. previously cooked. Yeah. Okay. You gotta have rice. And with this, this is a uh, uh, we talked about earlier. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the one of uh, those uh, sticky rice, the short grain rice. Yes. Okay. So. You see how it holds a shape? Yes. So yes, it holds its shape well. Yes. Okay, All and right. now for a garnish. Now garnishing, I'm gonna garnish. And I noticed that you don't have the traditional chef's knife there. You're using a more oriental style. This knife. is a Japanese knife called Usuba. Say it again. Usuba. 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 Or nakiri. Or nakiri. Okay. okay, so we're gonna toss these. Oh, that is oh, okay. beautiful. That okay. is absolutely and beautiful. And it's ready to eat. Okay. Okay. That's now, good. while back, yes, I show you how to use a chapstick. Yes, you did. And I, I want to see how you've been practicing and how well you do today. <laughs> and here's a chapstick. Uh, now, now, Kyoko, I, I can't tell you that I've been practicing. Okay. Now, now, <clears throat> there's. Okay, now there's something about, mm -hmm. I know I've heard something I'm not supposed to do with chopsticks. Now, tell now me about that. Uh, there's sometimes, you know, Western culture doesn't uh, have a knowledge of how to use a table manner for Asian culture. Yes. And let me see, yeah. example, yeah. you know, yeah. if we are finished eating, you want to put it on the side as like this. Okay. Now, or we have a, a chapstick wrist. Okay. 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 Now, things that you never want to do is stick into the food and rest it. Okay. For example, like this. Okay. So okay? You never do that. Right. This Very, is uh, represented in Japanese family household. We have a, like a memorial for the past one uh, loved one, you know, grandma, so grandpa, our, whatever it might so be. So family members who have passed right. away. Okay. In the house, we have a memorial. Yes. And in the morning, we get up. Yes. Well, after we, uh, when we cook uh, breakfast, breakfast. Yes. you know, first thing we do is give a small bowl of food to the uh, memorial. So it might be a bowl of rice, yes. for example. Okay. And uh, we will put incense above the uh, rice or food. So you stick the so. incense in the, yes. in the rice. So this represents for us is, you know, me memorial. Yes. You know, so it, so it'd be bad manners. And uh, for the table. So yes. never do that. Never do that. So always eating. rest on the side. I see. Okay. okay. Let's try it. Okay. okay. Well, you know, before we, before I relearn how to do these chopsticks, I want to say thank you to Kyoko Nagura for sharing your Japanese heritage and your culture with us and certainly your culinary skills because I've learned a lot on this show and I know our viewers have too and also I just want to say thanks to all of our sponsors and especially to you our viewers because you know with Chef Kyoko we are changing the world one I'm bite at, at a time. time. Okay now let's see now show me how that goes again. Memorial Cooking Innovations is made possible through the generous efforts of Brookshire Brothers, a celebration of family and community, CHI St. Luke's Memorial, the Polk Education Center, Sodexo Food Service, and the City of Lufkin, KLTX Channel 15.